everybody, it's me, Phyllis, also known as Naturally Curly Crown, coming to you with another video. Hey, you guys, welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. Today, you guys, we are doing another hair video. I don't know why I say that, because that's what this is, it's a hair channel. So anytime I pop on your screen, that's what I'm doing. It's a hair video. But today we're using new products that I have not used before. I ran across these products in Walmart some months ago and um, I wanted to give them a try today. Um, I haven't seen any reviews on or anything. I don't know who this person is. I haven't did any research on it, on her or anything like that. I just saw this and I was like, oh well, she has the whole line. The whole line was at Walmart. So I just picked up everything and I said, let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. So the product that I am talking about is Kim Kimball. Healthy Hair Repair and Renew. Have y'all seen or heard of this product? I mean, I was in, this is what she looks like. And again, I don't know who Kim Kimball is. At least I don't think I do. I don't know who she is. Um, <coughs> they say she's a celebrity stylist. So, yeah, so I guess she does celebrities' hair. So that's a great thing. So she has a whole new line out. So what I just showed you was the re, uh, Rep Hair Conditioner. And this is the Hair Repair. I guess uh, Rep Hair is Repair Hair. Kind of short for Repair Hair. Um, hair, no. Hair Repair. So y'all look. Hair repair and you got no hair conditioner. <laughs> okay, I don't know. So hair repair formula with black honey and pure ahoba oil. So this basically says it's for hair types of wavy, curly, and kinky. No parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, no and it's color safe. No animal testing. So it has all that hair on the back of the product yeah so this is the conditioner this is the shampoo you guys um, I didn't want to I wanted to use the whole line so I am going to have to shampoo today I am going to shampoo with her product today because I want to use everything together just to see how it all works so that's the shampoo and the conditioner and then we also have a star treatment mask and this has a black castor, black castor seed oil, Sheba seed powder treatment for damage or thinning hair. And I do believe my hair is thinning. So I'm like, hey, let's give this a try. So this has um, water. Uh, I'm not gonna even try to pronounce all this stuff, but yeah, here are some of the, um, let me see. Here is some of the ingredients on the, in this product. And again, this is the Star Treatment Mask. And then we also have the Healing Leave-In Conditioner. And this has rich in avocado, ahoba oils, fortified amino acids. So that's what this looks like here. And the packaging is really cute. It's like this uh, kind of, it's just like a rose gold um, and white, which I think is very nice. It's very, very nice. Very chic, classy. I like it. And then this is the Curly Butter Cream. Keep your curls luscious all day. So. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and shampoo, condition, and deep condition. And then I will come back and let you know how all the products work in my hair. And then we'll go into the uh, styling products after that. And the only thing that I'm going to use that is not of her products is probably this, uh, my gel, extreme gel. I'll probably use that to kind of make sure I have a hole in my hair. 
So that's everything else will be her product. I have brought the uh, oil, melanin oil out because I've been forgetting about this product. Um, I've been used, I used the shampoo once and then I've been using the heck out of her, um, the leave-in conditioner that she has or conditioner. Uh, yeah, multi-use leave-in conditioner. Look at it. I mean, I've been really using that. But I keep forgetting about this. So I brought this out thinking I might use it with the um, the mask. But I think I'm just going to stick solely on her products for my hair today. So this is what we're looking like today, you guys. I need to do a... Um, I need to do like a before and after look. I'm going to try to uh, do a get ready with me. I'm going to try to do the whole thing because today is my daughter-in-law's birthday. And she is 30. And so it's a special day today. And we are going to celebrate her birthday in Mexico. We're going to Cancun in a couple of weeks. So, but today is actually her birthday. So we're going to go out to eat dinner. You know the norm. We just go out to eat dinner. And, uh... So we're gonna do that tonight. So it is 11.45. So I am gonna try my best to get this hair done, get some makeup on, do a little outfit for you guys. Um, or I may just do hair and makeup, we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna try to complete this video today. So let me get on it. Um, yeah, let me see on the mask. It basically says after shampooing, apply and massaging to wet hair from ends to scalp for deep conditioning. Let sit for ten minutes and apply and apply heat. Rinse well with cool water. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use the dryer. I'm gonna get up under the dryer for about ten, maybe fifteen, maybe twenty minutes. Y'all know I don't follow directions. But I feel with the, with the mask and hair treatments and stuff, that's okay. So, um, but yeah, so I will apply heat to this as well. So let me get busy and when I come back, everything will be cleansed and deep conditioned and ready for the styling products. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay, y'all. So I am back and all of my hair, um, I've shampooed, I've conditioned, and I've deep conditioned. So let's talk about the shampoo. Let's talk about the shampoo and the conditioner, which were both very watery. It was almost like putting water in my hair. That's how watery it was. And I'm gonna show you, uh, let me show you the shampoo. And it's clear. So see how that comes out? It's very, very watery, very watery. And then let me show you, let me get this off. And then I'm going to show you the conditioner. The conditioner has color. It's white. And let me show you. See how it look? Look at that. Look at that conditioner. I mean, it just, it's, it's very watery. But it's watery but effective. Um, the shampoo got my hair really, really clean. It lathered up really, really nice. It didn't dry out my hair. Um, my hair... Uh, was easy to kind of work through. It didn't get real tangly. Um, it stayed moisturized. It could have been a little bit more moisturized, but it didn't dry out. That's the number one thing. Um, the leave the, the the conditioner was so watery. I felt like it wasn't gonna do anything for my hair. And I've had better conditioners. Let's just say that I have. Um, but it it did its thing. It uh, had a lot of slip. It was easy to detangle my hair. So, yeah, it, it was an okay conditioner, but it was just, to me, it was too watery. The shampoo was watery, but it was very effective. The conditioner was watery, not so effective. I'll say it that way. It, I, it could have been better, you know. So, this is what my hair is looking like right now. Um, also, the mask... Um, I did everything it told me to do. Um, I stayed, I put heat with it. I stayed up under the, uh, my dryer for like 20 minutes. It said 10, but I did 20. And then I had to let it stay on like an hour and a half longer because I had to go pick my husband up because, um, I had to go pick him up because the air went out in my car. So, <laughs> he 
took it to the shop, so I had to go pick him up. So I had to leave it on a little bit longer. So this is what it looks like. And so my hair is very, very soft. It feels very good. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fast forward through all of this and probably will do a talk through. If not a talk through, I'll come back. I don't know how I'm going to do this video. I just don't know. But right now, I know I am going to go ahead and fast forward all of this and then I'll come back when I get ready to put the uh, styling products in. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my hair separated in sections, and so we're going to go ahead and get started on the leave-in conditioner. And again, the leave-in is a healing leave-in conditioner, rich with uh, avocado, jojoba uh, oils, and fortifying amino acid. And it's for all hair types, or it's for wavy, curly, and kinky. Um, and basically, it says shampoo and rinse hair, apply healing leave-in conditioner until hair is saturate, saturated, set, and style. So it says that it's uh, formulated with the finest natural ingredients to keep hair resilient and, and from being dry, damaged hair back, oh I'm sorry, keep hair resilient and bring dry damaged hair back to healthy state, infused with natural emollients that, moist, that moisturize, detangles and conditions while gently hydrating your hair from the root to the tip. Help stops breakage while nourishing and strengthening dry damage and overworked hair. So, and these products here, you guys didn't have much of a didn't have a smell. It, it's a very light smell, very light, pleasant smell. So it doesn't, it really didn't have a smell. Yeah. So that's a good thing. I mean, yeah, it doesn't stink. It's not overpowering or anything like that. It doesn't say shake or anything, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I didn't tell you, uh, see this is kind of watery as well. See that? It's no kind of nothing. Um, the conditioner, the deep conditioner was a thick texture. It had a thick uh, texture to it, so... It wasn't watery as it wasn't as watery as the shampoo and the um, conditioner. So yeah. So, that's what it's looking like. It feels good on the hair. It kind of has like a milky uh, texture to it. It's a little watery as well as you can see. And then we're gonna go into the buttercream. And the buttercream, it says, with shea butter, mango butter, and castor seed oil, keeps curls looking and feeling luscious. Add shine, moisture, and bounce to your natural curl pattern all through the day. And it says, after shampooing and conditioning, saturate the hair with healing, leave-in conditioner, section your hair while wet, then apply, um, Curly buttercream from the root to the end. Rewet hair as often as necessary during the styling process. So we're gonna try, and that's very thick. So I'm gonna start with this much right here first. Just see, and that's very. Look at that. Oh my God, that's very thick. It feels very good. On going on, it really does, and I like that. Yes, and then we're gonna use extreme gel to give it a little hold. Yeah, I think I like that buttercream, that may be my favorite uh, product out of the whole line. Okay, so we're gonna go and do a different sec, another section, and then. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward everything. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the leave-in again. And this water is well, as you see. Look 
with these hands. the leave-in conditioner is just it's it's uh, water it's water based I can tell you that it's more water based than cream based and me personally this is how much I'm using I like cream based base products for my hair I just feel like my hair lasts longer and that's what that uh, the uh, cream is the curly butter cream is very cream based and it's very thick and it feels very good on my hair so yeah so I just feel like put some gel gel on my roots just to kind of preserve them a little bit longer if possible because they freeze up so easily all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this process and then i'll come back once i'm done all right you guys so this is the that's the all the styling products in my hair so I'm probably going to let this dry for about two hours. It's three o'clock. I'll probably let it dry to about five maybe. And then if it's still um, really wet, then I will go ahead and blow dry my hair the rest of the way. So again, I'm gonna try my best to come back so y'all can see the finished product on day one. And uh, yeah, so let us talk about the leave-in conditioner. Again, the leave-in conditioner is water-based. It's very watery. Um, it did saturate through my hair really good and it did kind of make my curls pop a little bit. Um, yeah, but the, um, so it's okay. The, um, Keep your curls the curly buttercream keep your curls all day luscious all day long i really like this because it's very thick and it's very it's a cream based product which i love cream based products in my hair so um, i feel like this is what's going to really keep my hold my curls for a minute along with the gel so we will see so all in all the products are okay i'm gonna use them up but i won't purchase them again because it's just an okay product to me. Um, my favorite product out of the five is the Curling Butter Cream. I really like that. The shampoo again was watery. The conditioner was very watery. Um, the leave-in conditioner is watery. And the, um, the uh, Star Treatment Mask, it wasn't watery. It was thick, but I really... I I really couldn't tell the difference. I, I mean, my hair was soft. Yeah, I really couldn't tell the difference in that treatment than any other. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it was okay. It was out of a five, maybe a two. I'll do that that way. So, yeah. <laughs> so, all in all, these products are, are okay. We'll see how my hair comes out um, and how long it lasts. That's going to be the test right there. But for right now, I'm not too impressed with these products at all. So, yeah, I'm not really impressed with them at all. But I do like that curly buttercream. So we will see how my hair comes out. We'll see how, uh, how long it lasts. And I'll be sure to update you on all of that. So anyway, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in a few hours. <laughs> hey guys so this is the finished look um, using the Kim Kimball's product um, products 
it was five products that I used today. I've already went over everything to let you know how I like them and how I don't like them and all of that. So that's at the beginning of the video. This is the end of the video and this is the fi final look. And so I'm very excited. My curls came out pretty nice. I mean, they really, really defined. I mean, look at that. They're really defined. And um, my hair feels just a tad bit sticky. I, I think I probably used too many, um, too much of the uh, curl cream. But other than that, my hair feels fine. So I don't know if it's the gel that I use with the curl cream or if I just use too much curl cream because it was really thick and y'all saw it on my hands, how thick it was and everything. So I think that's probably what the issue is. I use too much of it on, on each section of my hair. So my hair feels a little sticky, but it feels great. It really, I mean, it feels sticky, but I'm, I'm loving my curls. I really am. I am loving my curls. I think they came out really nice. So we'll see how long it lasts. Um, we'll we'll see how long the curls the style lasts. Now um, this is probably going to be my last video for a minute because I'm going to get some braids. And uh, me and my husband and um, my stepson and my daughter-in-law, we're going to Cancun for my daughter-in-law's 30th birthday. So that's going to be in a couple of weeks. And so I decided to go ahead and get braids uh, to kind of give my hair a break. Um, I really feel like my hair is coming out. I feel like it's thinning and I feel like it's coming out right here in the back. And I don't know, I just feel like maybe it needs a break. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me some um, box braids, some medium box braids. And I will definitely come back and let you see what that looks like um, and everything. But other than that, you guys, uh, this is probably my last video for about a month or two, maybe a month. We'll see. I'll probably come back and do some other things, show you some other things. I don't know. We'll see. If y'all have any suggestions, y'all just let me know. Put them down in the comment box. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me. Remember to be blessed, be well, and be you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.